In Iran, we believe what comes from a munificent hand brings bounty with it, and that generosity and hospitality promise the company of exuberant crowds. Say, if you were to host a dinner at a very special place, how many people do you think you could have? 20, 50, 100 maybe? How about a few million? Now that's a feast. <laughs> همه با یک عشق خاصی در اینجا قرار می گیریم و خدمت می کنیم به مجاوران و ظاهران آقای امام بزن حدود دوازده هزار بسته از این بسته بندی باید برای افتار آماده بشه طبق روال هر ساله بزرگترین سفره افتار به نام اکرام رضوی در جهان در بارگاه منور رضوی زیر نظر اماکن متورکه و مهمان سرا به اجرا میرسه This is where the two tons of fresh herbs will end up in small boxes with dates, some bread and cheese and a tea bag A simple iftar or fast breaking meal but humble as it may seem, it is considered an honor to get a hold of one of these. Even more, it's an honor to be among those who prepare it. There are over 400 volunteer workers in the kitchen in the guest house at Imam Reza's holy shrine. Over four tons of premium quality rice and three and a half tons of fresh meat is prepared every night in order for the Holy Shrine to host the world's largest iftar. Barberries and saffron rice, a favorite Iranian garnish. A quick look around the kitchen and I realize that preparing food for 12,000 people every day is a daunting task. Standing on their feet for hours in a scorching hot kitchen, the volunteer chefs spend most of their time stirring. Reciting prayers before dividing the food into portions. Most of these volunteer chefs are doctors, engineers, and even top managers. Everything here is about practicing selflessness and humility. And working here, or as they themselves describe it as serving Imam Raza, is considered an honor. Outside in the Hedayat courtyard, deputy head of the Astana Ghutsa Razavi, Mr. Alavi, explained that it's the fifth consecutive year that they're hosting the world's biggest iftar. Jam kasiri ham az mardom mashhad be surat iftikhari omadan va inja shabane roz khidmat mikonan ta in sofra ro dar in wasati ke shoma imruz imshab va imruz mulahaza mikonin faraham mikonin va hame karhay inja iftikhari anjam mishe. There are plenty of helping hands here, so it doesn't take too long for the tablecloths to be spread in the 16,000 square meter Hedayat courtyard at Imam Reza's holy shrine. Then come the bottles of water and the bowls of soup. Everything is ready for the guests to arrive. Reza's holy shrine is a favorite destination, one of the most sacred places for Shia Muslims to visit. 
simply spending a Ramadan night is considered an honor. And this strikes you the moment you take a glance at these faces. You could get the same bread and cheese or food anywhere else. But what makes this food special for all of those who are sitting here is that the food was prepared for Imam Reza. More than two and a half million people get to have iftar here during the holy month of Ramadan, an entire month of spiritual reflection, peace and generosity. While you can sense the spirit of giving and sharing here at Imam Reza's Holy Shrine, what you feel most is a deep and profound sense of humility. Kisumi Shah Ahmadi for Iran.